check out the resort because this is our like home sweet home resort this is where we used to vacation yeah, at this is all where the time. we bought out with this vacation <laughs> this club. is where we bought it's our home resort <laughs> yeah we always came here uh, so uh, let's see what's going on here let's go do this okay let's go do this and first thing I noticed they got rid of the old school arcade they turned it into like a luggage holding area that was such a cool spot. They had like a old Pac-Man arcade game. They had a little kids table with activities. And now it's full of suitcases and, and cases dreams. of waters. And just broken dreams. Broken dreams. Yeah. Cause maybe some people are going home. Maybe. Maybe the girl didn't get the ring she wanted on this Disney trip. Oh, who knows? I guess we'll head on into the dining hall and Merchantile shop. Merchantile. Yeah, I don't know. I don't Are know. You get a Moana Mercantile at the Folly. Well, at that moment, I didn't know what to say or what was the proper word, so that's what came out. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and it's Halloween, darling. Happy Halloween, darling. Look at those ears. I have those ears. Do you? What ears don't you have? Well, because now you got those new Haunted Mansion. No, I don't I want you to show, show me. You. No, please don't. Please don't. You know, I wish I'd known this before we started coming and visiting all the resorts because almost all of them have their own pin collection, coffee mugs. I would love to actually have a lanyard full of all of the resort pins. I think that would be pretty awesome, Is wouldn't this, it? Um, so you can't take off of it? Yeah, you can't the pop one that next tag. To it, you can pop the tag? Yeah. I've only got $20 in my pocket. So. Well, just the middle one, you can't pop the tag. Oh. Good memories, all coming back to me. I, think I, I love it. The oh yes, but look at this right in the middle here, an, alf an information chair, and you just kind of sit there, and uh, you get information. I feel like I shouldn't be sitting in this chair. Look at these homestyle meals they got here: carved rotisserie turkey breast, fried half chicken, pot roast, house-made meatloaf. It kind of reminds me of the 50s Primetime Cafe's menu, actually. I remember when we used to be on a huge budget, and I used to uh, try to like cut costs by eating like a la carte items. So I know for breakfast, I used to get like a side of sausage links and then buy two pieces of bread. And that'd be a sausage sandwich. It'd be a sausage sandwich, and it cost four bucks. I remember, I'm like, four dollars, I had a sausage sandwich. Yeah. We, we, we know Disney on a budget. Oh sure. yeah. We yep. pay for the room, the tickets, and then everything else we had to figure it out with like $100. Oh, you remember we ate pancakes for a week straight? Yeah. Just to get to by save to up save up money. money? To go to Disney, we would literally just sit there and eat pancakes. And every day I made a Mickey pancakes. Because it was just like our like... Yeah, like alright, a week to go, we're going to Disney, Mickey pancakes. Let's carve it up. <laughs> Let's carve it up. <laughs> it's so funny how... Sometimes when you stay at a resort so many times, you just know where everything is. Like you just arrive home, like you're just like, yep, this is what's going on, I'm going over here, this is where we're staying. You just like centrally know what's going on at oh all gosh, times. There's a bee following, there's a bee following you. Go, 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 go. Run, 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 go, bee. Go. Many nights just hanging out here at Petals. Good old bar stop right there. Especially when we got home from the parks, we always stopped there, you remember? 
We got home for the parks, had ourselves a beer to go to bed with. Yeah, our feet would be like covered in blisters and sores. Oh yeah, because we'd be there all day. Park open, park closed. Disney obsessed. <laughs> So this is a cool question. What? If you have ever stayed at Pop Century. I have. What is your favorite century to stay in? Like the 70s, the 80s, the 90s? Which what is one? your favorite century in general? Oh, I'd I say like the general? 10s to the 20s. Really? Yeah, but they don't have that here. I'm talking about resort wise. Oh, the 90s. My oh, year. Oh, the I'm, 90s. Ah. I have to pick the year I was born. What about Let you? us know in the comments what your favorite is. Mine's probably, I would say the 90s. I, I like the fact that it's kind of like, I don't know, I just like it. Yuck! How many people have taken their photo here? I feel like it's a tradition. Garsh! Goofy looks so funny standing the way he does. I don't know why. like how you stand. Yes! He's standing just like the way I stand usually. Garsh! Garsh? Well, Garsh! <laughs> I love Goofy! The overgrown twister play area. It's definitely seen better days here. Oh. <laughs> Look at it. Oh, it has definitely seen some better days. It still works. I hope. Well, I gotta spin this before I say it still works. Oh, yeah. Look at that. I like it. Left hand green. I'm not putting my hand on that. What do you mean? Left hand green? No. It's a little dirty. No. Little foot foot stuff. But foot, foot stuff. Exactly. Foot stuff. And how many people play without foot shoes? Yes, I no, bet. No, not, not for me. Last time we were here, they were actually in the middle of sanding down the big wheel and then repainting it. And it looks like it's all done. Look it at that. It's very pretty. It's shiny. It looks very good. Yeah. It looks like it's brand new. Yeah. I love it. This is one of my favorite areas. This kind of like whole setup here is why I love Pop Century so much actually. It's so cool. You know what I mean? It is really cool. And look at their faces. I feel like this is just such a great resort for kids and kids at heart. Yes. Big reel keep on turning. Gone there to into. This twister play area looks a lot better. Lots of lizards though. Look at them all scatter away. Scatter I, lizards. You know, In 1984, Michael Jackson's Thriller becomes the biggest selling album in history. Thriller. They're doing the Thriller. Potato Head? Look at Pac-Man. That is so cool, isn't it? <laughs> Wait, I just kind of want to see your face as you're making those noises. Wonderful. Thank you. Look at this life-size keyboard hanging out right next to the floppy disk pool. <laughs> floppy disk pool. Do you know why they call it the floppy disk pool? The floppy disk? No, because you like the flop in the pool. Uh, 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 let's have a discussion about this. No. <laughs> Keeping it real hip hop. That's yep. an exercise album from the 80s. Keeping it real hip hop. Very cool thing I kind of just discovered here on the laptop. If you look up on the tabs there, you see that they have Magic Kingdom, Epcot, Animal Kingdom, and Disney's MGM Studios. And if, oh! Pretty awesome, huh? And if you right click, you can see the water park. Oh, yes, I see that. Blizzard Beach and Typhoon Lagoon. Right there. Whatever. Surf the net then. But is it me or does that CD ROM look like a Pokeball? I don't think it's a smart idea for Roger Rabbit to be standing on a barrel of turpentine. Please. Please. Oh, you know what the saddest part of Goofy and Roger Rabbit? What's that? Is when they take the little boot and they put them in the, the, the barrel. Oh, yeah, but that's not a barrel of turpentine. I don't know. Cry. What is that called? The goo, the stuff that they... Yeah. I can't remember what it's called. That boot makes me sad. Oh, the little boot. Fun fact. 1981, MTV gains a huge following of teenage viewers. 
So last time we were here, actually staying here, that was like what four, or five years ago. Actually, we came and our we engagement trip. When yeah, you proposed to me. We stayed in this room right here, and I remember we used to come out every single morning, sit at this bench right here, and just stare out into that view right there. Beautiful, huh? Yeah. Wow. Such a great view. Uh oh. Get run over. Ah, ah. Thank you. Oh man, it's a gang of ducks. They oh. look like they're up to no good. Oh no. Oh boy, what are they up to? No good. No good. Hey, you belong in the 2000s. And happy birthday, whoever's staying in room 51. Two three, I five, think. Five one one three, A one one three. Five one one three, A one one three. Producer of finding housekeeping. Oh, okay. Hm. She's right there. I see her. Housekeeping. Nineteen seventy one. Whoop, 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 whoop. Walt Disney World Resort opens in Orlando, Florida. How'd you like that voice? It was pretty good. Walt Disney World Resort opens in Orlando, Florida. Now you did pretty In good other there. news. In 1971, Walt Disney World Resort opens in Orlando, Florida. In 1971, Walt Disney World Resort opens in Orlando, Florida. I have to think maybe I did it better. Wait, let me do it happier. In 1971, Walt Disney World Resort opened here in Orlando, Florida. Coming for your job, Stacy. Hope. So. In 1971. In 1970. I'm trying to say something okay, here. Okay, go ahead. So off the beaten path, we come across this little tiny area down here. Look at this. I've never seen this before. Why is it even down here? Just very cool, relaxed, chill spot. I thought it was like a smoking area at first, but there, there's no ashtrays or anything like that. So it just must be here to uh, admire all of the Generation Gap Bridge and the construction of the gondolas. In the year 2018, Walt Disney World is going to open a secret pathway to a random bench spot. That was pretty good. Duncan Yo-Yo. I remember back in the 90s, maybe early 2000s, when Yo-Yo, when Yo-Yo's made a comeback. I remember Yo-Megas, the ones that would like stall when you threw them down, they lit up and everything like that. It was very popular back then, along with Pogs. Oh, those little things that nobody actually played, but they like to collect. Yeah, they like to collect the slammers and stuff like that. They were fun. Do you remember eating Play-Doh? I've never eaten Play-Doh. I yes, fact, you have it salty. No, no, I hate Play-Doh. No, you it like it. It makes me sick. The smell of it makes me sick. Eating too much will make you sick all at once. I think you ate too much Play-Doh. <laughs> well, we are back to the Hippy Dippy Pool right here in front. Oh, and speaking of pool, you guys need to check out our pool video. Well, it's not pool. We actually played pool with this awesome churro yes. named Charlie. The churro beat me. Yes. Believe it or not, we actually played a game of pool with the churro. Uh, and there's a pretty good video. It's a separate YouTube channel. What's it called? Jomo Pico. Jomo Pico. I'm going to put Charlie's channel in our description right now. Yes. And I'm going to put a little bit of a video. Oh, a little a little glimpse of, of our time. Just our a, time with Charlie. The videos are very short, very quick, but they're priceless. We love them. So make sure you check out their channel, subscribe to it. It's definitely amazing. It is. It so is. So let's, let's show them that. A little bit of a clip. So you come here often? Nice place. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed that. It was pretty fun. Great experience playing pool with Charlie. And I think we're done here with Pop Century. We didn't get over to the 50 section. It's very hard to talk when you're doing that. Alice in Wonderland's playing. Very hard to talk when you're doing that. The story of the curious oysters. Yes. Okay. So, uh, we didn't get to the 50s side. No. Because uh, there's actually a storm coming. So, we're going to have to head out. Okay. So, love the life you live. So, live the life you love. And we'll see you next time. So, toodaloo.
to me, the walrus and the carpenter were walking through the sand. And it was all because it was the middle of the night. <laughs>